you know, female MCs yeah. in Africa as a whole. We have mostly male people. So yeah. Welcome, to the, Welcome to the factory. Factory 78 with DJ Larry. Hey, what's up, Larry. everybody? This is Muna, and you are at the factory with DJ Larry and my humble son. Let's go. Window stays hidden in my BMW. Riding pretty fast, I ain't seen none of you. And I ever keep stepping in my blue sweat shoes. Run my empire, ain't talking W. Still breaking records, yes, I shatter. Hype up sugar, sugar, not water. Do a crazy thing with the sugar, not proper. I'ma suck on the candy, but my tongue change color. Best believe this chick is not weller. Shorty want the chocolate, call me no teller. Only into fine boy stars and hot fellas. I won't see this chick in rock fellas. And I'm pretty sure there ain't nothing that you can tell us. Either you can tell us. Jealous, smell us. Shorty be tripping, now let me give you a little taste. This is Luna and we on Factory uh, 78. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Yeah, I think you should drop the beard. I think I'm gonna do a little spoken word. Yeah, yeah, cut the Right now. So I'm gonna do a little spoken word. Something I was thinking about on the train while I was getting here. <sighs> here we go. Greatness lives on the inside of you and I. And even though we try, and most times we ask why, it still makes me cry. Because we can't seem to find what's inside. Who am I? Where am I? Why should I? How can I? Oh my. <laughs> I can't lie. You see, I can't swim, but I stay afloat. I can't sing, but I can hold a note. And sometimes I feel like I'm about to choke. But out of this darkness, Munachi awoke. And so throughout my ins and outs, my ups, my downs, my wins and my doubts, if I had something to say to myself at 16, I would say to her, relax, because greatness lives inside of you and I. Peace. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Muna, and right here, right now, you are watching Factory78.com. Don't go nowhere. No sleep, Kennedy, my BMW. Riding pretty fast, I ain't seeing none of you. And I ever keep stepping in my blue suede shoes. Run my empire. I ain't talking W. Muna breaking records, yes, I shatter. Hype pop sugar, sugar, not water. Practice on your TV. I'm your host, Adesh Okwe. On exclusive interviews, we've got a guest in the studio today. It's the wonderful rapper from Nigeria, and of course, model and all round entertainer, Muna. Welcome into the studio. We're going to do it this way this time. All the, the normal way we do things, get the nonsense out of the way, and speak about the positivity right after that. Now, let's speak about this, Muna. Tell us about Pastor Mike. What exactly happened? Window seat tinted in my BMW. Riding pretty fast, I ain't seeing none of you. And I ever keep stepping in my blue sweat shoes. It's a hip hop culture. It's a you know, it's a tradition. We battle. You know, regardless, you need to have the balls to do stuff like that. I can say balls, right? <laughs> yes, you can. Were you surprised? Were you surprised with the media uproar or like the frenzy that went online? right after the video came out of that little clip with both of you talking it was um it was funny to me because you know i just i just saw that people are like they don't know what's up and at the end of the day people are going to believe what they want to believe i've been in the industry long enough to know that so i wasn't really like tripping i wasn't sad or anything i just turned my phone off <laughs> really yeah but the other part that i wanted to talk about was the fact that when you guys came on stage together in lagos at the industry night to show that it was way beyond beef. You guys are like brother and sister. What was that feeling like when you invited Monai to join you on stage and he gladly came on stage and was really rocking the mic with you? I mean, like Monai is my he's my nigga. I can say nigga, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Monai is my boy. Like I like him a lot. I, I, I love him. I respect him. I look up to him. You know, so these things happen. And when I told him, I said, hey, okay, you know, because we squashed the beef like way beyond that so for the fans and for the people let's just get together and just make it official which was good and we did that and it was, it was a good uh, thing to do well official on fact is 78 elephant is out of the room now let's talk about Muna 
started off, of course, hit the stands with being, um, you know, beauty queen type of stuff. And all of a sudden, you just flip the script. Most beauty queens, I, I saw an interview with you once where you said, like, most beauty queens joining music, people, they expect you to be like a ballad singer and all that type of stuff. But what? Tip the shoulders down, pull the hat to the side, yeah. lyrics, bars after bars. Yeah. What was the transition from a beauty stunner like you to a rap stress? It, um, well, I've always loved music. I've always wanted to do music. And um, I did not want to be what people expected me to be. It's a very tough transition, I tell you. Because people, it's very difficult for people to get to know you as something they don't expect you to be. You know, so it's like saying, okay, you want to eat pounded jam and everybody wants you to eat Gary. They're like, no, I want pounded jam. And they're like, oh, this chick, she's so proud. And she's like, what is she feeling like? Eat Gary with the rest of us. But that's what I want. And um, I'm sticking to it. I'm following my dreams and I'm happy, you know. So that's what it's about. At the end of the day, it's you. Because everybody is going through their own struggle. At the end, people don't really care. <laughs> you know, because everybody wants to be what they want to be. It makes them feel good when they can judge you. But honey child, just do you. Now you're doing you, um, like I said, you're a rap stress, but you came out, some of your lyrics are powerful. You do everything, you, you kind of touch on, of course, you touch on being a woman, a strong female, in the, and you touch on realistic stuff as well. You're, exactly, a lot of people would expect you to do the more popular things alone, but you, you just, you know, you stand on the same stage with the guys and you go in with the deep type of lyrics. You write music as well for other people. Tell me about being an artist, performing in front of people, and also being in the background and writing for, you know, known stars in Nigeria and stuff like that. Okay, let's start with writing. Writing comes easy to me because I started writing. I didn't use to freestyle or whatever before. I just started writing out of pain, out of whatever it is I felt. And so when I met people that had similar struggles or whatever that they can talk about or they didn't know how to talk about it, but if they told me I knew how to translate that into music, it would be, you know, beautiful. Relationship. Yeah, you know. Heartbreak. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff. I mean, hey, we, we talk about relationships all the time, so I can write that for days. And, uh, you know, heartbreaks, anger, frustration, poverty, all of them. Talk about it. I can write it. You know, so, yeah, when once people can relate with that, I write that, too, for people. And it gives me joy to see people singing my song. Like the female... You know, when, when women kind of join the music industry around the world, not only in Africa, it's it's almost like a struggle for women to keep their head up. It's big. When you have the likes of Nicki Minaj and, you know, Lady Gaga and stuff like that, it's fantastic. But you have hundreds or hundreds of thousands more that are trying to get to maybe just a little bit lower than those guys. Now in Africa, we're still, you know, way behind when it comes to the opportunities for women. What's that like for you as a woman in the industry? It's tough. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's really tough. But you have to be true to yourself, and you have to know what you want. Do you want to go forward, or do you want to just quit and go and do other things? Because only you can do a million other things. You know, maybe you're a beauty queen alone. Eh, that doesn't really pay. <laughs> true, honestly. Some people just want to be queens and just end it there. But it takes a very smart and intelligent person that has some kind of purpose to decide to say, you know what, okay, this is this chapter of my life is done, I'm grateful the dream came through, but I want to move on to something else. And you have to, this is where life gets tough, like it gets real, okay, and then you have to like struggle with the rest of the normal people. You may get it easy sometimes, but some, most times it's as hard as the rest. So you have to stick with it and stay with what you believe in until it comes true. How did you, you know, go from, listening to one or two people say you're a beautiful girl to actually thinking all right I'm, i think i'm good enough to compete in a pageant i never thought i was good enough to compete i just thought i was 
way too light skin to compete with them but my friends they they were the ones that encouraged me to go for it i had dreams but i didn't think me and, uh, they would probably pick a dark skin chick not me never me but then they said okay short sure, dark skin That's chick it. usually because if you're african and they want you to represent africa they want you to look african i don't really look african so it's a bit of a problem <laughs> you know but god has a way of doing things and then they made me go and it was fun it was an adventure for me and yeah you were very passionate about other kind of like charity work and stuff like that are you still involved yeah because <laughs> you were looking so you were giving me that sec you know that secretary type of serious look but yeah now you're coming out now so yeah you had charitable kind of stuff you were getting involved in how involved are you now I'm still involved, but it's one step at a time. You have to do what you can for the people that are close to you before you, you know, decide to take it out to the world. It's a different ball game when you get out there and you need to decide do you want to give to charity and share with people for TV or do you want to do it from the bottom of your heart because that's, you know, how you feel and that's what you're meant to do. So, yes, I did a lot of charity work when I was queen. They're still part of my life and still very close to me. Um polio sickle cell anemia and you know all the good stuff <laughs> good yeah, i still support them forever. good signed to rmg records rmg yeah rmg management by the way yeah that's it <laughs> i say rmg records like hey amen <laughs> in the same level with the likes of michael word yes michael word the talented michael word okay, you've dropped snippets of what you're gonna give your fans dropped two singles this year yes i did yes i did one is a storyteller and the other one is for the people that want to hear poppy music Afro pop. <laughs> dance. Yes. That's it. The download. Yes, it's called download. Good. Now, just before you came into the studio, you know, the wonderful Mr. Ayoshina just played me a couple of tracks and I'm thinking, man, I got to get these songs now. <laughs> so I know what people are going to be expecting out there. Trust me, it's absolutely incredible. We're hearing news, different types of news. I've heard names like Usher. You know, I've heard things like Ludacris. I've heard, you know, I know we can't talk too much, but tell me. So beautiful, I'm sorry. <laughs> I what's, just had to say that. What's going on? Oh, yeah. We're hearing like different gossips, oh, no, like not in <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm sure he would have liked to take your number. No, I'm too young for him. Yeah. You know, you know he likes some uh, some yeah. Yeah, no. I'm I'm not there yet, so it's okay. What, what are these kind of like that we're hearing about music with the likes of Lil Chris, the likes of Usher, with the likes of you know how, how long do we have to wait to get the real information? You're here right now. <laughs> not too long. <laughs> not too long. Not too long. These are people that I've always dreamt of working with. Actually, when I went to Atlanta, I was very... One day I sat down with my neighbor. We were just talking and chilling and drinking and stuff like that. And then she goes, wow, so you're really doing it, huh? And I said, oh, yeah. I used to write, like, back in secondary school, I used to write, like, Monachi Bridges. You know Christopher Bridges is like ludicrous oh, in secondary school. And for me to now like come and I see these people, I'm like, oh wow, these dreams do come true. It's amazing. So you need to write down what you want and you get it. That's that. Muna 101 for you right there. So is there a date when we have to wait for this project to officially come out? It's 2012, we've waited too long. I know, we waited, me, I'm waiting too. <laughs> <laughs> My fingers are crossed, but um, you won't wait too long. I don't think I'm allowed to say the date right now. I've been saying that, but hey, the patient dog is the fattest bone. Oh, you starve to death, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Before I let you go, people are always asking you that question, where do you hear your voice in, you know, in the in the midst of all the female MCs that we have in Nigeria and Africa? I wanted to ask you, who inspires you amongst all these female MCs and artists in Africa, rather than where do you see your voice? I've, I've never been as... Well, huh, let me not say that. <laughs> I, no, I wouldn't say... I, we have very, very, very few MCs in Nigeria or in africa you know female mcs in africa as a whole we have mostly male people but right now right now right now um who do i really see hmm. there's this girl called blaze i love her to death she's like a lyricist she's she's gangster like i'm like 
I worship, <laughs> you know, she because she's cool. The rest of the chicks are okay. I mean, like, big ups to my girls, Sasha, Kel, um, Eva, and there's me. Big ups to me. Okay. <laughs> no, but um, you need to have a lot of guts to do this. And um, yeah, that's that. Be happy. <laughs> well, we're going to get out of here. It's the wonderful Muna. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>